Welcome back ladies and gents to another TPM tactical video. Today's video is going to cover off on how to create your own custom squads. As you can see here, I've got alpha through to Oscar and predefined frequencies and predefined uh, available slots. Uh, this kind of carries on from my previous video, which was talking about creating custom patches using the RHS framework, where I made my own patch for each one of my squads. Uh, so this is basically carrying on from that. Uh, if you are enjoying these videos, please hit that like and subscribe uh, and leave a comment below on anything you didn't understand or if you had a tutorial you'd like to see. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pause it quickly and jump into a blank uh, my test project and I'll go through the process on how to create these squads. Okay, so I've just loaded it into my test project as you can see up here, Fusion Workbench Test. Uh, this just has RHS assigned as a dependency for whatever I was mucking around testing with. Uh, okay, so we're creating those squads, custom squads. What we need to look for is the factions first up. So let's go to US underscore campaign is the name of the faction config that we need to look for. So here it is, US underscore campaign dot config. So you can utilize the resource uh, browser, uh, the search feature up here in the resource browser. Otherwise, to actually locate that, it's sitting in armor forger, configs, and then factions. And then here it is here, so US underscore campaign. So campaign relates to anything to do with like um, config, uh, config, conflict, sorry. Uh, okay, so we've got the US campaign configuration open here. And as you can see, this is predefined with all the default settings uh, for the US faction. If we scroll down, what we're looking for is this here. So predefined groups. By default, it gets all the information from this call sign info. And if you look in here, you have things like the platoon name, uh, which is what Atlas uh, by default for the US. You have these squad names, or oh, sorry, no, platoon name will be, sorry, company name would be Atlas. Platoon name would be like, I believe it's just like one. And then squad name is one as well. So that's when you hear like Atlas one, one. Oh no, it might be red, sorry, Atlas red one. Oh, I can't remember. Either way, that's the information uh, for the call sign info there. But we're looking at the predefined groups. So what we're going to do is we're going to tick this here, create only predefined groups. And we're going to hit this plus here. So under next to predefined groups on the right hand side, we're going to hit the plus. We'll just create two groups. So SCR underscore group preset is what it generates. And you can see here we have a group name. So let's just call this alpha uh, group descri description. So US um, alpha squad. Oh, what did I just do? I hit on somehow hit undo anyway us alpha squad um let's back as alpha so group size let's make a default of 10 frequency let's just sign that 30 32 uh we have to put it as hertz so 32,000, which would be 32 megahertz let's expand the second scr group preset let's call that bravo Group description, US Bravo squad, group size, let's make this one eight. Uh, let's make this one frequency 31,000. Uh, I'm not sure, but this tick is private. Uh, obviously it's gonna make this, this squad private, but I'm not sure exactly how it works. It's possibly that whoever's the first in to the actual squad, the predefined squad is then in control of the uh, squad. So therefore they can invite people in as opposed to just anyone being able to randomly join. Uh, if you do know the answer to that, feel free to leave it in the comments below. Okay, so we'll create two squads here. And so right now I'm just gonna to, to use um, an image that I've already uploaded into my test uh, project when I was playing before with different things. So I have these here. So I, I kind of created a couple of these uh, for my uh, factions, correction, my patch, custom patches, which you have seen in the video if you had previously watched that one. Uh, so I'm just gonna utilize these ones. They are a different size. So these are 1024 by 1024, as opposed to the other ones were the patches, actually the patches were 1024 by 1024 pixels as well. But the main information was across the um, top, top half. Okay, so Looking at this EDDS file here for Bravo, so I can drag that into this one here. So the group flag for Bravo, and then I'm just gonna drag this one up here into Alpha. Control S to save that. Ah, you know what I forgot to do? I try, I forgot to override the US uh, campaign config. So let me start that again. 
So US underscore campaign right here. So I'm going to right click on it and go override and test. So it's now moved it down into my test project as an override Whoop. faction. So here it is here. So again, this location is armor forger configs and then factions, the original location. So here's the one I've overridden. You can tell by this little puzzle symbol. I'm going to double click on that. Uh, where's those predefined squads groups? So create um, only predefined groups. Go ahead and hit the plus twice. Make two SCR underscore group presets. Going to give it a name, alpha. And I couldn't bother typing something out again. Uh, group size, 10. Frequency, 30,000. Groups, uh, second one will be this Bravo. Whoop. My typing is terrible. Group description, again, I couldn't bother to type something out. Group size, let's make this one eight. Radio frequency, let's do 31,000 Hertz. I think that's in Hertz. Yep, oh no, sorry, not Hertz, kilohertz. Uh, 31,000 kilohertz being 31 megahertz. Uh, and that's all we're gonna change. So I'll just quickly grab those images again. Uh, you can see this little star up next to the um, name up here. That means something in here has been applied and it hasn't been saved. So I'm just gonna hit Control S and the star's disappeared now. Uh, go to images, so I'm just gonna drag this woof.edds to my alpha and then the bravo.edds to the Bravo squad. Again, little stars up here. So I control S and save that, what, um, those changes. And now I'm going to jump into the world editor. Just going to load up a world. So by default in Armor Forger, we have Armor Forger, worlds, MP, so multiplayer, and then these missions. So CTI campaign uh, island is the one I'm going to load. But if you look up here, if you've already opened it before, you can click file and they'll appear down here. So your last, what's that, six entries or six uh, worlds you've opened. So I'm just going to load that island one. So CTI is capture the island, campaign is conflict. And island's island. Okay, everything, it's got everything I need, so I'm just going to hit play. This is just the uh, vanilla, so BI created mission. Uh, so you're going to hit continue. And what do we do in the US? So if I'm going to do US Army now, you'll see here. So here's the two squads. So we've got Alpha, Bravo, and then 30 uh, megahertz, 31 megahertz, group size 10, and then group size 8. So let's just go into the Bravo and jump in game. On keyboard, I'm just going to press Papa. I'm not sure what the default is for uh, Xbox. And as you can see here, it has a bit of information related to, so the original names is Atlas Red 1, um, but it's going to be called Alpha, Alpha Squad or Bravo Squad. And you can see here's the logo and the information related up here. So here's what I just uh, quickly entered in before, the description of the squad. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So that's how you create those predefined squads. And let's go back over here. Um, and how, yeah, so you group name, we created group flags, the icon description, group size, and the radio frequency. Again, I wasn't 100% sure on the private. Actually, let's just test that, see what it does. Just save that. I already got the world open. I don't think much I'll be able to test it really until I was in game because I'd need someone else to join to see or be invited in. Uh, so I'm not sure how the uh, private selection works. But if, yeah, if you do know, let us know. Anyway, uh, if you do have any questions, queries, uh, please leave it in the comments below. Uh, if, it's, if there is a tutorial you'd like to see, again, please leave it in the comments below and hit that like and subscribe button. Thanks for your time and enjoy the rest of your morning, afternoon, day, evening or whatever it is there. Cheers.